Hi everybody, it's Miss Diana and today I have Miss Sam with me today doing Science Explorers. And so we're gonna just start by just marching left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. All right, the topic of today is, are you a righty or are you a lefty? Most people are right-handed and that's okay. But are you, are you right-eyed, right-eared, right-footed? We're not sure, we're gonna find out today. Miss Sam, she's not done any of these before, so she's gonna be my little, uh, my little goatee, go, <laughs> goatee, go to my little experiment. So we're gonna start off with having Miss Sam sit down in a chair at the table. And I've made a chart, and if you wanna do that too, and zoom right in to see, these are the experiments we're gonna to do today. You could do it with all the people in your house and some of your friends that you like to visit to find out are you really all righty or are you so there's some parts of you that may actually be left dominant so without further ado we're going to have miss sam the first one drink from a cup miss sam there is some water in this cup so we're going to put it right in front of her i'd like you to take a sip from the cup please oh yeah that's right we gotta take mask off Okay, nothing like getting hydrated first thing in the morning. But anyway, did you notice she picked up her right hand? So, okay, she's, she's right-handed here when it comes to drinking, possibly eating too. All right, the next thing I want Miss Sam to do, she's gonna pick up this purple marker, purple's her favorite color, to open the cap, and you don't have to really put the cap on the other side of the marker if you want. You can do this with a pencil or a pen, any, any writing utensil. I want you to draw, all right, first of all, she picked it up with her right hand, so she's still right dominant. All right, I want you to draw a spiral on that piece of paper, all right? All right, that's a lovely spiral, Miss Sam, thank you very much. Now, believe it or not, okay, I don't know if you noticed, she picked up the marker with her right hand. Um, she drew a spiral, but believe it or not, some people are going to draw the spiral one direction. Some people are going to draw the spiral in another direction. So it might be kind of fun to have a whole bunch of people do the same thing and see which direction they do it. And don't think about it, just, just do it. So um, there's certain people, oh, she did it again, same direction. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of fun to do doodles anyway. All righty, so it opens to the right. So we don't know if that still means there's still a lot of us, if you are right-handed, we use predominantly the left side of the brain, which controls the right part of the body, which is kind of backwards, but it's pretty cool too. All right. Um, now, over here, I want to show you. There's a castle on the, on the door there. She's going to look at this castle door, all right? But she's going to do it. By looking through this, you can use a toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube. All right, pick that up and look at the castle. Ah, she picked up both hands. That was interesting. Oh, but she, look, did you see? She put it to her left eye. Ah, all right. Oh, sorry. That was interesting. So she's a little bit of both here. So we're going to mark off. Huh. So I think that was kind of our lefty. Now, Miss Sam, stay right there. And what I want you to do is hold your thumb out straight, whichever thumb you think you hold out your thumb straight, one thumb, whichever one. All right, you're going to block the castle door with your thumb. Okay. All right. And you're going to close one eye, and then you're going to close the other eye. All right. Which one, if you keep back and forth, which one blocks the door? Um, closing my right eye blocks the door. Okay, so it looks like she might be right eye dominant. Interesting. All right. So you can do the same thing at home. Just get a small object on the wall to look at and stick your thumb out as far as you can and close one eye and close the other if you can figure out which which eye is dominant. It's not necessarily, if, if you're righty, it's not necessarily going to be your right eye. All right. So now, 
we're going to do, I'll make sure we can still see you. <laughs> this is a tricky one today. All right. There's a mystery object in this box. I want Miss Sam to hold it up to her ear and shake it and see if she can figure out what sound it is. Ah, okay. Oh, no, she's throwing me off here. I hear it better with this ear. Oh. Well, she I thought starts, that's what you wanted me to that's do. Okay. <laughs> she started with the right and she did with the left. Which one do you hear a little bit better, do you think? The left ear. The left ear, interesting. Okay, know. so she's left, possibly left-eared. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, this is something that might not work here, but... If I whisper something, which, which, if I whisper, can you hear me? Which ear is Sam going to, Miss Sam going to do this? Or is she going to do this if she hears the whisper? So you can try that at home. A fun thing you can do, we can't really do it right here, is stand on one side of the door and have the person be on the other side of the door and whisper something through the door and see which ear they're going to do the stronger one. It's not necessarily your right hand. All right. The whisper is not, probably not going to work today. No. All right. So now we have to aim the camera down to the floor. Get yourself a penny. Any kind of coin will do. All right, Miss Sam, I want you to step on that penny. All right, go ahead. Oh, she did it with her right foot. All right, that's fine. Now that we got you down there, I know I don't have a soccer ball. All I had was a basketball. So which which foot are you going to kick? Pretend it's a soccer ball. Which foot are you going to kick it? Oh, she's going to kick it with her right foot. There we go. All right, very now, gentle. Very gentle. <laughs> We're going to have her on our team, aren't we? All right. All right. If you could turn around, Miss Sam, and we have this lovely piece of tape on the floor, which foot are you going to cross over first? Oh, her right foot. Okay, so she's very right foot dominant, I think. All right. Yeah. The same experiment goes with some stairs. If you're at the bottom of the stairs, which foot are you going to... Oh, right. she would have done. She's pretending there's stairs right there. Yeah, gonna she's going to be a right, right footed. She's definitely right footed, man. <laughs> all right, we've got that one. I think we've done all our experiments for the day. Let's see. Oh, the, oh there's one more. One more. Oh, yep, that? it did them. All right, going back to the penny on the floor. All right, you can see the penny? All right, Miss Sam, I want you to lean forward, bend over, and pick up the penny. Oh. Did you see it was her left foot? It wasn't her right foot that went forward first. So what do you think that means? I don't. And I picked I, it up with my right hand. I know. <laughs> oh, there's just so many fun things you can do at home. So that kind of wraps it up. You might even be able to come up with some of your own activities at home to do with right foot, left foot, right ear, other parts of your right hip. If you dance, maybe you're more left hip dominant. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>